Thanks for joining us on Flip TV News. I am Gladys Aloze. President Muhammad Buhari has traveled to his hometown, Daura in Kastina State, on a four-day private visit and was received at the Omar Musa Yaradua Airport in Kastina State by the state governor, Aminu Masari. The president is scheduled to, among other things, participate in the All Progressive Congress Registration and Revalidation Exercise, which he says is very important for Nigerians' democracy. The president considers this exercise as a very important one for the nation's democracy and is yearning for good leadership as a requirement of the process of nation building. The president is expected to return to the nation's capital on Tuesday, the president is said in a statement. The new chief of air staff, Air Vice Marshal Oladayo Amo, has taken over the mantle of leadership of the Nigerian Air Force in a colorful handing over ceremony by his predecessor, Air Marshal Saduk Abubakar on Friday in Abuja. Abubakar decorated his successor with the Medal of Office in line with the NAF tradition. While handing over the mantle of leadership, Abubakar recalled his successes. In 2015, we set up to reposition NAF into a highly professional disciplined force and we clearly defined how we intended to do that through capacity building initiative. I am very excited that we have not only restructured the service substantially, we have also embarked on massive air operations in different parts of the country, especially in the Northeast, he said. Abubakar urged his successor to ensure he consolidated on the achievements of his administration by taking the NAF to greater height. Meanwhile, Amor expressed appreciation to God for the gift of life and the privilege to be appointed the 21st Air Chief. Major General Leo Irabo on Friday resumed duty as a Chief of Defense Staff. He succeeded General Gabriel Olanishaki, who sat for five years and six months as a 16th CDS. Announcing the change of baton, Oloni Shaki tweeted, Today I formally hand over the baton of leadership as the CDS AFN to Major General Leo Irabo. I wish to sincerely appreciate the President, Commander-in-Chief of the AFN and Nigerians for the privilege to serve this great country. I congratulate Major General Irabo and wish him a successful tenure. President Muhammad Buhari had on Tuesday appointed Irabo and three others as service chiefs. Chiefs of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Lagos Zona Office, have arrested three Dubai-based suspected internet fraudsters and 14 others in Lagos. They were arrested on Tuesday, January 26 and Wednesday, January 27, 2021 at different locations following series of intelligence detailing their alleged involvement in internet fraud and other related offenses in Nigeria and abroad. The EFCC said they will be arraigned in court as soon as investigations are concluded. Delta State's Governor Ifani Okonwa has said his administration would from Friday begin the enforcement of the 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. imposed nationwide curfew by the federal government to curb the spread of COVID-19. Secretary to the state government, G. Edu Ebie, announced the governor's resolution in a statement on Friday. He called on residents of the state to comply with the restriction in the interest of public health adding that security agencies had been directed to fully enforce the directives. Founder of the Future Awards Africa, Emilia Asim Ita, has died after a brief illness. The multi-sector strategist and business leader died on Friday morning. She was, until her death, the practice director of AML, formerly known as A-Line Media, which she founded in 2010. Ms. Asim Ita founded what was then known as the Future Awards, along with Chude, Jide Owo and Adebola Williams in 2006. She ended her partnership a few years later and worked or collaborated with other organizations in areas like social media marketing, management consulting, writing, public speaking, brand design, public relations, project management and training. Words fell us. You were more than a boss. You were a friend, an inspiration, an outstanding person. You will forever remain in our hearts. Rest well, Emilia, AML said in a message posted on Facebook on Friday night. Thanks for joining us on Flip TV News. I am Gladys Aloze.